<laughs> so I thought I'd have a quick ramble. Um, just a few things. Space Hulk. <laughs> it's coming out, so we'll have to get that. Um, Maybe some beer as well. Because I'm just, as you can see from the videos, I've thought about starting a Blood Angels army. And I'll be terminating and look absolutely sweet. Um, we've, um, I've joined the gaming club. Dead with Gladiators. Um, I've got a, uh, got my membership card, membership card, yeah. And then also got a nice little badge. If you can see that. Yeah. And people also, yeah, cool. Um, got my first uh, like competitive game set up because I've only, I've only been back with the hobby for a little while, <coughs> and um, got my first competitive game. I'm taking my lizard men, which you've seen a video on as well. Um, they're all completely finished. What I've got, and I'm gonna go down and fight this dude. And this this dude is like a tournament plan. He's got a beastman army, which is like, or tournament beastman army, it's like eight chariots and some warhounds. You know, Gorthor or whatever the beast lord is, and basically just ruining everything. Uh, but he's not going to bring that, he said he'll bring his wood elves or his high elves to fight the lizard men. Um, which I'm looking forward to. This is Monday night, which I'll take a video of. They're quite happy but for gladiators for, for people to take videos off and um, put them on YouTube. Uh, <coughs> also, I've um, got to look for um, things to do with the Blood Angels, because obviously, uh, being a sort of... Um, the Battle Trimmer are introducing. But there, are, there is players at this club, which do 40k, and I've got me a pure guard, but Horde armies are just got the time to paint the horde army and paint it nicely so it's so it actually looks nice on the tabletop. It's um it's definitely gonna be one of those things where you're kind of like um it's gonna be a pick up every now and then and over a year then you kinda of get everything you need because you, you know, seventy odd troops and, you know, four or five tanks, you know, uh, it's just it's just um a lot, a lot of painting. Whereas with a with a space marine army, you know, you're talking 20, 30 guys, um, a couple of tanks, maybe a land raider, and you're done. So it's half the work, really. So I think I think that's going to be the next project. I'm going to go back to 40k. I know I've had some comments about becoming a square base. Uh, change is good as any, really. It's nice to keep your hand in with something else. Um, working on a few few bits um, like terrain. <coughs> I bought the. Um, which you would have seen. I bought the uh, the GW trees. If you can see that, yeah. very nice, very nice. And uh, and it comes on a base where you get a few trees. So when you actually look at it, you've got a wooded area. Now, if you, if you're not if you're not as good as, as I am, uh, sorry, as good as I am. Let me blow my own bloody trumpet, but. I'm not very good at making terrain. I watch Terrainaholic and I watch um, Renzera at the moment. God, man. Making some lovely buildings at the moment. You've got to, if you can, check them out. Because um, the brickwork and, you know, just, uh, just amazing. And um, you've got um, Bill at train, Terrainaholic, sorry. He's, um, yeah, some of the stuff he comes up with blows your mind. Um, but I'm not you know, that way, really. <laughs> there, there's one, one effort I did try. You know when you've got all of your, um, you know when you've got all of your sprues from your models all um, sitting around, you can either chop them up and make them as rubble, or um, you can pretty much sort of um, uh, just chuck them away. Well, I built this, as you can see, it's basically a wooden outpost, it has got a ladder on it, but it's not, it's not there at the minute, but you're talking, let's break it back a bit, you're talking that, 
So it's got cross beams. I put rope around here so it looks like it was two pieces snapped together. Um, there's like orky bits on the bottom. There's an arm there, it's been blown off. There's an orc body there. Um, it, and <laughs> another thing that I do like, I don't know if you could see um, that there. Some One of the orcs has actually run up and slapped a tank bomb on the side of it um, and had his arm chopped off mid, mid clamp. So he hasn't been able to set it off yet, but um, on the top there's various things. You've got a, a, a double shooter at the top there, um, moving around. There's stick bombs. It's probably best showing you that one. Can you see there? Just now, stick bombs. Uh, on the back, look, you've got ammo clips and bullets and, and um, knives stuck in the wood. Uh, and I've, and I've, I've cut everything so it looks like timber around the edges here. So it looks like planks of timber that have been uh, um, axed or chopped from the chopper of the uh, thing. Also, there's heads on the posts. There is, um, is this in it? Orc skull. And that's basically just to warn people off. Um, there's a, a, a tyranid arm hanging off. Um, so it's, it's seen some battle. Um, and I designed it as like, um, you know, with the. Um, What's it called? The um, planet fall and all that kind of stuff. I designed it so it was going to be a ramshackle outpost. Um, in um, White Dwarf a while back, there was like a, a scenario where a few Katashan um, jungle fighters um, attacked an orc camp. And I thought, oh yeah, orc outpost, you know. I, I've got space orcs, I haven't painted them all up there. There's a few of those, but again, another video I'll put on. Converted them because they're fighting tyranids a lot, so um, and there's a few of them where they've, they've got some proper, like the war boss with the with the kind of fix his head in his power core. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't finished those yet. Again, Horde Army just takes, well, by the time you get like five models in, you're already trying to think what else can I do? And um, yeah, just horde armies are just one of those things. So I'm looking for more specialist armies. Marines, pretty much, um, best of the best. Probably won't go to chaos. Not really a, a chaos convert. Like the Terminators, if I could have a, you know, I could have a Terminator or a whole Terminator army. And when it comes to the um, planet strike, <laughs> all Terminator army. But um, the cost involved of buying all those Terminators is just probably not something to do just yet um, so so yeah so that's me at the moment new gaming club new models bit of terrain um, and joined the um, war gaming community page um, set up by girl painting because obviously I agree with Bill and Rosero and you know Jal Balls and all these people Fr Fritz uh, where it's saying her if we could all quite happily sit there individually looking at videos um, and then comment on each other's videos and then somebody gets 10 comments and all that kind of thing. Whereas if we're all subscribed to the same videos, we may as well all subscribe to the same channels and then everybody gets to see what everybody's doing and there's not one person that feels like they're getting a cold shoulder or they, or they give up and sort of think, no, no, I'm not going to do it anymore because nobody watches them. Whereas on that wargaming community, everybody gets a chance to watch videos. So, um, excellent idea. Um, Train Holic is another, you know, he's a guy that's, that's um, singing his praises. So, um, so, yeah, get on there. Um, happy gaming, and uh, that's about my time. So, I'll...